What's up, y'all? It's your guy, eBay Fight Predictions in the building. And this is your Matthews Nikolaou versus Manal Cop to break down. Uh, this is the rematch. I don't know if you forget, you know, the, these guys that fight, uh, fight each other before. It was a very competitive fight the first time. Uh, obviously I thought Manal Cop won, but it was a very close fight. So I, w I wasn't too mad about the decision necessarily. But it, it, what, it did kind of hinder Manal Cop's uh, kind of career a little bit. Those those first two initial losses to Nikolaou and Pantoja. Um, and I think Cop learned a lot. I think he was a little too arrogant coming into the UFC. I think he thought things were going to go a certain way. Um, and I think he learned that, hey, you know, I... I can, I can, you know, try to wait for the knockout. And that's his style. He does wait for, he's a counter striker. But I think he learned activity and output matters at the same time. And I, I feel like his, his growth since these, you know, first, especially these first initial, especially the, uh, Nicolau loss, uh, has been, has been exponential. You know what I'm saying? He has really grown in his mindset. Um, especially, you know, looking for the kill, trying to find the kill, finishing these guys and also showing great output, um, in some of these fights that really, that get tight and get close and really matter. Um, Matthews Nicolau, I, I love him. You know, I, I originally said actually a while back, these guys would run it back for the title. Sadly, that is not <laughs> the situation we're at, but, uh, Nicolau, obviously he's coming off that really embarrassing loss to Brandon Royval. The whole hood was crying that day. The, the hood was crying. The, the Nicolau fan, fan boys, we was down under. But um, Roy Val caught him. Roy Val is a really crazy fighter. I don't think that is the representation of Matthews Nicolau that I know he is. Uh, he's a he's a counter striker with a great grappling uh, background and a base. Um, strong punches, um but you know precise timing um and that's Nicolau in itself he's a bit of also a counter striker in in, in itself and he kind of does wait for moments of the fight to materialize for him to, you know to capitalize uh and try to win and score and you know stuff like that so both these guys kind of have the same issue um but I would say Nicolau it's never really hurt him going into a decision. He knows how to win fights. He doesn't use his lack of activity uh, to hinder him. He kind of does it in a way to actually win fights. So it's a little different, but they both do have similar issues. Uh, I would say in terms of their, you know, their fighting style. Um, resume wise, I I would lean towards Nicolau having the better resume here. Obviously, with a win over a cop but i mean schnell david dvorak tim elliott and cop in, in itself is pr pretty good um and then obviously you know he has that fight against brand roy val who just fought for the title recent uh just recently um but manal cop i mean obviously we know he just coming off that insane fight of the year contender against felipe dos santos uh david dvorak zaku zamagalov and Odie osborne has been his last few fights i mean he's had a bunch of fight cancellations so I, I'm not going to say he, you know, the lack of, um, competitions on him. I mean, he was, uh, booked against Rujo Bontero, Davidson Figueredo, Alex Perez, Kai Kaikara France. Kai Kaikara France has not showed up. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, he does have a win over, uh, Kai Ascara and Ryzen too. Let's not forget the guy was legitimate, super legitimate in, in Ryzen and, uh, you know, he, was that guy so he, he's a champion he, he comes with a championship mindset uh coming into these fights you know he was a former champion so he knows what it takes to to be that guy uh, in, in a major promotion to be the man and i think that's what he wants i mean monarch cop has the most star potential at a lot of these flyweights and is super good it's not that him just talking trash is why everyone really likes him now nah, the man Quick combos, quick hands, has some of the best boxing. I think, I think he has some of the most underrated hands in the game right now. Um, especially in the UFC. Um, he has it all. Uh, the only issue with Monal Cop is, 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 is what makes him great at the same time. He waits. He waits forever. And, uh, sometimes you gotta wait for the right opportunity. But he waits, he waits, he waits, he waits, and he lets some of these fights get past him. And that's why he's lost some of these decisions, especially against Nicolau. That's what killed him is he waited and he waited instead of putting the activity and just trying to find combos and throwing punches and bunches um, is what really killed him, you know? And that's just my humble opinion. 
Um, I think Manal Kopp is better than Manikla. I thought he won the first fight. Um, and them running it back, I think it's just kind of a good way for Kopp to kind of get this off his record. I think Kopp is a top five uh, level fighter. I think Kopp has um, fighting for the flyweight championship written all over him. And I, and I truly believe Kopp is your next flyweight champ. Um, so I'm, I'm rocking with Manal Kopp here. Five second round TKO. I think he catches uh, Matthews Nikola this time. I think he's going to be ready. And I think he's going to put the pressure on Nikola. I, I pray he does. And he, he ups the activity here. Um, I think he defends the takedowns. And if he gets on top with the ground, I think he's okay. I don't think Nikola is going to just go out there and fucking find a knee bar or a triangle or arm bar out of nowhere. Um, Nikola is a good fighter. Don't get it twisted. Um, but I just think Cop is a little better. And I think Cop. With Eric Nixon this time, with a legitimate camp with Extreme Couture, uh, no disrespect to AK Muay Thai or Thailand, actually my bad. But those guys, um, they didn't they didn't have enough bodies for Cop to really challenge them. I felt like, um, and especially you know, uh, I think just Cop. First of all, you know when he was in Ryzen, he, he had goddamn shoes on when he was fighting, so it's a lot different. I think Extreme Couture has way more UFC talent. Uh, in their gym than AK Thailand does, uh, obviously, and just, you know, it has a lot more guys to challenge him, and obviously Eric Nixon is a phenomenal coach, uh, so how can you go wrong? Um, I think Manal Cop, I think he, I think he gets sweet revenge, I think he amends the wrong that happened that night a long time ago when they fought, um, and he gets it back in blood, so yeah, I'm rocking with Manal Cop here, but I can't wait for the fight, hopefully, uh, it's a great fight, uh, and it's not boring, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, this breakdown though. I got Manal Cop by Sekiro on TKO or KO, but yeah, it is what it is. Love y'all. Goodbye. Go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Like, comment, share the video. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation going. Love y'all and goodbye. I'm gonna go check that out. And, uh, hey, subscribe to eBay's fight prediction. Let's keep the eBay fight predictions nation growing. next and if you refuse again to fight me or pull out two weeks of the fight i'm going to your city i'm going to your academy i'm gonna spare you there i'm gonna spare you there hey hey listen and no one no one gonna do anything you know why all your teammates is a bunch of